What's going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. Uh, we're here downtown in the CLE. We're right by the Hilton Garden Inn on Carnegie and East 9th. I'm probably closer to the, I think I'm closer to like the East 12th side. But uh, you'll see there's the hotel over there. Uh, there's a couple of restaurants. There's a parking garage. The, the Cleveland baseball team stadium is there. The freeway, there's a courthouse behind me, Cleveland State. Uh, arena is up the street the Wolstein Center anyways I found AT&T 5G plus up it just disconnected <laughs> that was weird uh, there's a node actually down at the end of the street couldn't park up there because there wasn't any spots uh, but I believe there's one at the end of the street where it's uh, East 9th there and then there's also one right here where is it right there so it looks like it's a complete CRAN site You've got the two millimeter wave nodes at the bottom and then the LT part of the C-RAN up there. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, I'm going to try to see if I can get it to reconnect. Uh, it's a little bit more finicky than the Verizon 5G+. Plus. I'm going to go ahead and speed test T-Mobile while I'm here. So I'll get that going. Um, but I think the signal's bouncing all over the place. I think it's actually getting in here from bouncing off the wall. So I'm going to I'm going to see if that is indeed the case. I'll, I'll go ahead and reset the connection. You will see that we're getting some decent capacity there from T-Mobile, too. I bet that's N41 in all likelihood. Um, let's go ahead and reset this. I think that should do the trick. It should reconnect. Uh, yeah, we got 5G+. Plus. Okay, so let's go ahead and test that. All right, for T-Mobile, we got a 20 millisecond ping, 292 on the down and 32.3 megabits per second on the up and nice ping time there from AT&T's millimeter wave their 5G plus is 39 gigahertz over here so it's pretty high frequency stuff millimeter wave 11 millisecond ping we got about 1.2 gigs per second on the down and we only have about 30 on the up you know as we are still a non-standalone configuration for 5G so we're not seeing you know the extra wide channels of nr for the uplink that's not bad that's a lot better than i usually see i last year at this time this site was not up nor was the one at the end of the street i'm gonna assume it's that site is what i'm connected to but that's pretty good um i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna switch over to verizon i'm gonna test them and see what they're getting over here all right guys so we're back i went ahead and i switched off the uh AT&T line and now we're connected to Verizon Wireless. The 5G setting is on. Let me get, off some, get rid of some of this road noise here. The 5G setting is on but it is connected to LTE. Uh, that might be possible. It might be connected to CBRS. I wish I had access to more of the connections here but it uh, looks like LTE only over here. I'm assuming that probably up the street on East 9th there's probably some Verizon millimeter wave but I wanted to give you guys just a a look at what type of capacity each of the carriers brings to the table here by the Cleveland baseball team stadium and off of East 9th here. This is a really popular uh, exit off ramp for people coming to the stadium for games. Uh, so we got 31 millisecond ping, 63.1 on the down, 40 on the up. That's all pretty good. T-Mobile doing good things, I'd, I'd assume with M41. Nice job there. Verizon's, the LT is decent. It's holding up. I'm sure there's some millimeter wave around here. We'll go check it out. And then at and with the 5G+. Plus. Let me know what you think of this testing. If you appreciated it, you can let me know by commenting and letting me know what you thought of the testing. Uh, if you're impressed by any of the carriers and what they're doing. Also, another way you could let me know you appreciate this is by liking this video and sharing it to your socials. And that's pretty much it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and check out some of the links in the description box. Uh, what we got we got the Twitter handle the patreon page link. It's all there Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms Thank you in advance for that also check out some of the links in the description box We have the SMT patreon page We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech and do check out the audio only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms And if you are new have not subscribed Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.